we're gonna go out and look for something okay. to make sure we can prevent any crime from happening. Just as policing in Denver has evolved over the years. Driver and passengers, put your hands up. From training and tactics. To equipment and engagement. Thank you. Keep doing good things right. Oh, thanks for the hug, buddy. I didn't even ask for that. Thank because you. Because I like police. You do. The way the Denver Police Department communicates with the community continues to change too. This is a community department, and the two have to be have to become one. In order to do that, we've got to we've got to connect with them. They want to know what we're doing, why we're doing it, and they want to have a voice in it. A few years ago, DPD launched a bold new communication strategy, mainly driven by how folks in the community connect with one another and access news and information. You guessed it, through social media. And Denver residents have taken notice. Right now we have more than 50,000 likes on Facebook and 70,000 Twitter followers, and those numbers are growing every day. Those large audiences were built by providing timely public safety information, such as potential threats and road closures, answering questions from the community, live streaming press conferences for public viewing, and by sharing the everyday stories of officers' good work, compassion, and contributions, stories that used to go largely untold. For example, this story about Officer Ambrose Slaughter, who paid for a motel room and meals for an elderly man who was living in his car, reached 10.6 million people and has more than a half a million likes and comments combined. They've gone out of their way to show the support and the love for the men and women of this department. And it's like that quick. DPD's Tips from a Thief video, for example, shows people how to avoid becoming the target of thieves who steal from cars. The video was viewed more than four million times and was shared by numerous police agencies around the country. Our past ways of communicating were very manpower intensive. At a community meeting, we would often have five or six officers, again, to reach a small number of people, 10 to 20 people, and we would have community meetings like that all over the city with multiple officers. But now, with a piece like that, we were able to reach four million people in such a short period of time to get this important crime prevention information out. Tis the season for shopping and stealing. And features like tips from a thief. Denver police talked to this former break-in man named David or sometimes picked up by local TV stations, making the impact even greater. Take precautions because most crimes like this just can't be solved. These uniforms and museum pieces help to tell the story of how the Denver Police Department has adapted and modernized over the last 150 years. Now the department is launching its latest advancement in communicating with you, the community, the Denver Police News app. The app gives you access to breaking news, crime alerts, video features, podcasts, and all of our social media content in one place. And it's a great way for people who don't have Twitter or Facebook accounts to access this important information. It provides links for reporting crime, graffiti, and other issues, as well as to contact your local district headquarters. Notifications can be customized so that you only get the alerts that are important to you. And the best part, the Denver Police News app is free and is available for both iPhone and Android devices. This here is a protection order. So whether we're sharing stories about officers helping their community. Christopher James Mago is a sexually violent predator currently living in Denver. Warning a neighborhood about a sexually violent predator or asking for your help in solving a crime. Whoever did this to my brother is still out there. Public safety is the common thread that ties all of these efforts together. I am extremely proud. We've won awards, we've gotten kudos, we get national attention. But again, I have to go back to what I think is most important. That all of these efforts, I think, have put us in a much better position uh, to make this community safer.